In part 16 of our build guide, we install some sheet metal and the main coolant hoses. The stage 1 kit includes all of the pieces to get your donor engine installed and cranked up. Start by unpacking the parts that need to be painted. This includes the sheet metal, fuel tank, floor support strap, and some smaller hardware. All of the provided fasteners are zinc plated so they don't need to be painted. Clean the parts before painting them. We use rattle cans to paint the smaller pieces and powder coat the larger pieces. Flip the frame over onto a piece of foam or a shipping blanket. Run a drill bit through the rivet holes to clear the paint or powder coat. Don't forget the four holes near the front X brace. Most of the holes are 3 16 inch, but you'll find quarter inch holes where the four support strap will go. Apply silicone to the front bulkhead tubes. Install the front bulkhead with the bend up and aim toward the rear of the frame. Insert rivets to hold the bulkhead up. Then use a rivet gun to pop the rivets. A hydraulic riveter makes the job easier. Apply silicone to the floor tubes. The silicone will help prevent the sheet metal from squeaking and rattling. Install the floor pan with the bin aimed into the car. Then use a rivet gun to install the rivets. Apply silicone to the floor strap. Install the floor support strap with the provided hardware. You will use a 532nd Allen wrench and a 716 socket. The main coolant hoses are pulled through the frame rails. Start by tying the aluminum slug on a rope that is at least 10 feet long. Insert the slug into the hose and tighten a clamp about one inch from the end. Wait about 15 minutes before removing the clamp. This will crush the hose making the next step easier. Spray tire wet onto the hose and tighten two zip ties where the clamp was. Pull the zip ties as tight as you can by hand. The zip ties will keep the slug from pulling out of the hose. Cut slits into the end of the hose. It will make it easier to start into the frame rail. To make it easier to pull the hoses through the frame rails, you'll need to pull a swab through to lubricate the tubes. Make a swabbing tool by first tying a knot near the middle of 20 feet of nylon trimmer line. Then slide a quarter inch washer on the line followed by a six inch paint roller. This roller will be the swab. Slide another washer on the line and tie a knot to hold the roller on. Use the swabbing tool to apply tire wet to the inside of the frame rail. Run it back and forth several times to make sure the tube is well coated.
Tape the rope to the trimmer line and pull it through the frame rail. Lube the coolant hose very well. Pull the hose through the frame rail from the back of the frame. If the hose feels like it is stuck, pull it back out of the front and recoat it with tire wet. Pull until 6 inches are left at the front. Cut the hose at the rear of the frame and repeat the process for the other frame rail. Flip the frame over and set it on jack stands and a furniture dolly. Install the front brake tee with the provided hardware. Mount the donor car's horn with the front brake tee. Use a 532nd Allen wrench and a 716 wrench. Install the other brake tee at the rear of the tunnel. Install the rear master cylinder line from the front of the car. Make sure the line goes on the passenger side of the tunnel. Screw the tube nut into the brake tee and tighten with a 10 mm wrench. In the next video, we'll install the steering rack, power steering unit, and pedal box.